Hey, this is Nikki G, and welcome to Better Commander. Today we're taking a walk in darkness with Ramses, Assassin Lord. I've been playing this game a long time, and Voltron commanders are really tough. Getting one person with 21 commander damage is hard enough. Your big Voltron creature wears a big crazy target. Everybody's going to be aiming their lasers at you. Well, let's dial that up to a thousand put all our proverbial eggs into one giant basket with a creepy kneeling helmet guy, Ramses, Assassin Overlord. Why worry about all your opponents when you can just slice one neck? That's the question, dude. And as an added bonus, I stayed up late into the night just mashing cards together to get this beast ready for the low, low price of just 50 bucks. So all I ask of you kind, sweet, cardboard addicted people is a click, a like, a subscribe. That's how you help me make Commander better and simultaneously worse for everyone in your playgroup. So let's read the card. Ramsey's Assassin Lord is two blue and a black. For a legendary creature, a human assassin, it's a 4-4 four four with death touch. Other assassins you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever a player loses the game, if they were attacked this turn by an assassin you control, you win the game. And that's what we want to do. Why butcher an army when you can slash a single throat for the same result? This is simple, elegant, immensely threatening. We're concentrating on four main strategies here. Control, protection, evasion, and pump. We also have a little bonus strategy, and that's infect. We definitely want Ramses out on turn three if possible. So there are about 10 two mana ramp rocks like charcoal, sky diamond, and some actually really good ones like soul ring and arcane signet. Okay, first things first, let's take a look at our control elements. The average converted mana cost of this deck is about 1.37 without lands. So we're topping out at 5 and saving mana for instant speed interaction. We're running 9 cheap counter spells, and I prioritize cards that replace themselves when possible, like Confound and Keep Safe. We also have Bane's Contingency because it has a pretty nice upside when we're only running one creature. We also have Counterspell, Negate, Memory Lapse. These are all nice little counter spells to keep Ramses on the battlefield and stymie things that would take him off the battlefield. So kind of dovetailing with our control elements, we have instant speed interaction protection pieces. JP over there, he says, eh, I'm going to cast Path to Exile targeting Ramses. So we're bummed, right? Nope. Fake news. In response, slip out the back. Or Reality Ripple or March of Swirling Mist. You see, phasing is really good in this deck because of rule 702.25F. When a permanent phases out any auras, equipment, or fortifications attached to that permanent phase out at the same time. This alternate uh, way of phasing is known as phasing out indirectly. An aura, equipment, or fortification that phased out indirectly won't phase in by itself, but instead phases in along with the permanent it's attached to. So all of our auras and equipment attached to Ramses phase in and out with Ramses. Teferi's Veil says whenever a creature you control attacks, it phases out at the end of combat. This happens after damage, so Ramsey strikes and then fades into the Shadow Realm. Vanishing is the last of our phasing cards, and it's an aura for one blue mana and reads Enchant Creature, one blue blue. Enchanted Creature phases out. We can do this at instant speed in response to whatever our opponents are doing. We definitely want Ramses to have Hexproof. Shroud we don't want. It's a little too cute in a deck with only one creature. Shroud prevents us from targeting uh, Ramses with our auras, so it's a non-bow. Swiftfoot Boots, Mask of Avacyn, these are good ways to make Ramses untargetable. If they can't be targeted, JP can stuff his Path to Exile right up in a binder. Winged Boots, one in the blue for an equipment, equipped creature has flying and ward four. That path is now a five mana spell, which, I mean, if you want to cast it for that, whatever, you got me, but we're going to make it harder to target Ramses and give him evasion. And lastly, we have Curator's Ward, which can draw us cards if Ramses gets murked and gives us beautiful, wonderful hexproof. There are also some really good Umbras in these colors. If the enchanted creature would be destroyed, instead remove all damage from it and destroy this aura. That's totem armor, brother. Octopus Umbra is 3 blue blue for an enchantment aura enchant creature. Enchanted creature has base power and toughness 8-8 eight, eight, and has whenever this creature attacks you may tap target creature with power 8 or less. It also has totem armor. So this tops out our mana curve and protects our commander and gives him a giant buff. Alright, let's move right into evasion. We don't want to deal with blockers. You think Ramsey's over dark, the over dark dude, wants to be farting around with guards? No way. He slips in and he chop chop chops the squid. Mask of Riddles is a blue and a black for an artifact equipment. Equip creature has fear. It can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or black creatures. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card has equipped too. Sleeper's Robe, pretty much the same card, but it's an aura. Twist their minds with fear, brother. We have Aqueous Form. This guy's flowing like water right through some bars of a prison. So this gives unblockable with a little scribe bonus. 
Traveler's Cloak can give us Land Walk, but it has to be an existing land type, but can be basic or non-basic. The land types in Magic are Desert, Forest, Gate, Island, Lair, Locus, Mine, Mountain, Plains, Power Plant, Swamp, Tower, and Urzas. So you can't choose Command Tower or something like that, you silly goose. Now we have a bunch of auras that give us flying, eight in total, and we want the aura to either provide a nice little buff or draw us a card or both. Auras are fragile, so they want them to replace themselves if possible. Let's move on to the pump. It's time to pump up. Ramsey's a skinny dude. We need him out there eating his macros. Everybody wants to get big, but nobody wants to eat to get big. Uh-huh. Blackblade Reforged. This looks like a Ramsey's weapon and pumps him right up. It's too generic mana for a legendary artifact equipment. Equip creature gets plus one plus one for each land you control. Equip legendary creature three, that's all we're concerned with. So we want to get six lands out there, pump them up to ten, give them infect. Cranial Plating and Nettlesis care about artifacts, and there are 26 total artifacts in this deck, including a couple artifact lands. Cranial Plating also has this ability for a black and a black attach Cranial Plating to target creature you control, so we can do that at instant speed, if needed. Nettlesis also has Living Weapon, which can come in handy if we need an emergency blocker out there or something early game. So we also have 23 total enchantments in this deck, so we have Helm of the Gods, one generic mana for an artifact equipment. Equip creature gets plus one plus one for each enchantment you control, has equipped one, so cheap. We also have Auromancer's Guys for two blue blue for an enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two plus two for each aura attached to it and has Vigilance, an underrated ability in a Voltron deck. So in this deck there are 23 total cards that pump our commander, and most cross over into some other realm that we want to cross over into, like draw, evasion, protection in some way. We want Ramsey's big out there, he's dry scooping protein powder and deadlifting rocks in his creepy sanctum. We're also going to run any card that gives Ramsey's infect, that's a sub theme in this deck and it can be a one hit KO. So Ramsey's attacks, he infects somebody out, we win the game. So Tainted Strike is an instant that pumps and infects. We also have Grafted Exoskeleton. This is the most expensive card in the deck at $4.36, but it also pumps and infects. Four generic mana for an artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has infect. When it becomes unattached from a permanent, sacrifice that permanent. So that could be a big downside. Uh, it also has equipped two. Then we have Phyresis and Glistening Oil. These are auras that give Ramses infect. Don't worry too much about that Glistening Oil's downside. You don't play this unless you are winning that turn. You already have Ramses' power up to 10. Save the best for last. I'll mention Vorpal Sword here in the infect section. This is grandfathered in and is an infect card, okay? Equipped creature gets plus two plus zero and has death touch. It also has five, black, black, black. Until end of turn, Vorpal Sword gains. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game has equip black black. This is our last win condition. If we can get Ramses through and have approximately 10 billion black mana, I didn't do the math on that, we win the game. So this deck, I mean, it's low to the ground and it's mean. There is no compromise. You aren't interacting with people unless it's to counter a spell that messes with our board state. We want to get out there fast. We're here for one reason and one reason only, to assassinate one guy and win the game. So let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, leave a comment for the algo rhythm. I need to hear your thoughts. I can't hear them just sitting here. I don't read minds. Let me into your mind, dude. This is going to be Nikki G from Better Commander, signing off.